Even if you lived in Evanston for years, you may be unaware of what's happening on our streets. We all assume some kids get in trouble, but most don't. Most don't. We assume the courts help kids who get in trouble. We assume the justice system protects the rights of all citizens, especially our kids. The James B. Moran Center for Youth Advocacy works tirelessly on what most Evanstonians don't see. The fate of the many children caught in the space between assumption and, and reality. 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 Lawyers that see their clients as just the legal problem that they're presenting are missing the big picture. And they come with a story. And what I love about working at the Moran Center is we care about that story. Every single person who is coming into court was dealing with issues of poverty, unemployment, mental health issues, trauma. If you have a learning disability or an emotional disability, you're three times more likely to be suspended. Just one suspension makes you three times more likely not to finish school. Because kids that fail in school, they are very likely to then end up in our criminal justice system, and we call that the school to prison pipeline. And the Moran Center has its core mission to try to stop that pipeline. Dealing with their court case and having it be done is a Band-Aid. It's not getting at the underlying issues of what is actually going on. We start off representing them either in court or at school, and then in conjunction with that, we provide social work services, therapy, case management, anything that they may need. If you come to us with a legal problem, there's probably something else going on in your life that may need attention, so we try to provide wraparound services and help the client not only in the courtroom, but in life in general. Hour-wise, we are probably providing the Evanston community with some multiple millions of dollars of services. Our social workers are the most important part of our team because it's their job to help our kids obtain the skills and the supports they need. We have a Voices, Perspectives, and Ideas program that is an alternative to suspension so that students can stay in the classroom and work on problem solving and conflict management and conflict resolution. We very firmly believe that suspending somebody for 10 days and just having them out and about doing nothing doesn't necessarily help. It's approximately a little over $20,000 per, you know, per kid per year to educate them, but the numbers range from anywhere from 120 plus up to $200,000 a year to incarcerate a child. I mean, the fact that you're preventing something, you can't point at it and go, look what we did. But the fact that it didn't happen is really a lot of what the Moran Center um, helps young people do. It's the little things that we celebrate at the Moran Center. Every year, we go to Evanston Township High School's graduation, and I bring a pencil, and I mark the program. I had 16 kids in my book who I really don't think otherwise would have made it to that day without us fighting for them in the school in the courts and on the streets. That's why we advocate so zealously for those kids to be here at home, to receive rehabilitative and restorative justice at home, not in an institution. Thank you for believing in me when no one else has. I felt hopeless all the time. I know I still make some wrong decisions, but I'm trying. Thanks for all you've done for my family. Thank you. The James B. Moran Center for Youth Advocacy is here to help. But we need your support. We need your awareness. And importantly, we need your donations. So we can continue to bring hope and success to every youth in Evanston.